editor's pick for the week. It's an article published on the website of Radio Netherlands Worldwide, written by Femi Maribi Sada of Premium Times Nigeria. How to become a highly esteemed Nigerian? Don't speak English like an Ibadan man. Speak with the kind of phonetics that even your mother would wonder where you were born. This is just one of the tongue in chair tips to become a highly esteemed Nigerian. There are an estimated 170 million Nigerians. The overwhelmingly proportion of these will live and die unknown and unsung. Airports will not be named after them. Neither will universities be established in their honor. A hundred years from now, people will not even remember they ever existed, except that they might have some children and grandchildren hanging around. Surely, you don't want that to happen to you. You want to be known. You want to be rich. You want to be a rich man or woman. There are particularly Nigerian ways to achieve. Formulas have been firmly established by our good-for-nothing politicians and businessmen. But don't worry, they don't own the copyright to them, so you are free to follow their vanglorious footsteps. Don't waste your time going to school. Don't waste time trying to develop a cure for cancer. Nigerians are not known for such endeavors and we don't appreciate those who waste their lives ensuring we have a better future. We are only interested in those who are committed to today. If you want to be a big man or woman, if you want to be well known and highly regarded in Nigeria, there are a few easy steps you need to take. Here are some suggestions that are bound to ensure that you will soon become the talk of the town. Mm. Steal public funds. Nigerians love thieves. We have a lot of respect for them. Thieves are the men and women of the people. Thieves are deemed to be people of courage and strategic thinking. In a nation of the poor, people are concerned that their kids and kin should be represented in the tabernacles of the looters. Otherwise, we feel shortchanged. Therefore, the man who wants to be highly esteemed knows his thiefery will elicit wide support and appreciation among his people. If you ever get access to public funds, don't make the mistake of stealing millions of naira. Steal billions. Remember, you might not get a second chance. It is turn by turn Nigeria Limited. Commit a tilt of your stolen loot to public large and you are in for the gold. Use a fraction of it to build a monument for yourself in your village and bring the press to the unveiling. Steal billions, then send a few thousands, send your free children in your community to school. In no time at all, you will become a superstar. Friends will donate their daughters for you to marry. Streets will be named after you long before you die. You will be invited to sit on the high table at public functions. Display your wealth. Nigerians have a simple demand. Show us the money. Therefore, show off the money. Don't buy a Mercedes Benz. Every Tom, Dick and Harry now drives that. Drive cars that are ostrichously expensive and unusual. Make sure they are bulletproof. Not because anybody would shoot at you, but because bulletproof cars are more highly regarded. Buy a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, or an Aston Martin. Let it be in a flashy color. 
They cruise every now and then in the Lagos traffic jam. Get a good PR firm. Give them a simple agenda to make you famous. Make sure you are at any and every happening event in Nigeria. Hang out with celebrities with brand envelopes given to strategically placed journalists. You can ensure you are always in the news. Make sure you are a regular feature in the ovation and style pictorial magazines. If you are caught by EFCC and brought to trial, buy ASO AB for your supporters club. Bring them to court with you so they can sing your praise songs. Write a check and give it to the judge. The case will be promptly thrown out on the grounds of technicality. Run for president of the country. If you want to be highly esteemed in Nigeria, you need to run for high office. Don't waste time focusing on being a local government chairman. Run for president. The fact that you don't stand a chance does not matter. You will get all the plaudits you need by the mere fact of running for the office. Declare your candidacy long before the election so you will have a long time to be interviewed on the radio and television and to have specials done about you in the newspapers enjoy the limelight tell people that god appeared to you in a dream and declared that you are the next president of the federal republic of nigeria don't worry when this prophecy fails People are more interested in the declaration of a prophecy than in its failure. If it fails, you can keep running for election as president every four years. That way, people will realize that your prophecy is still on the way. When the election results are announced, go on television and declare that it was the worst election in the history of Nigeria. Tell the people the election was heavily rigged. Indeed, you have never seen such a massively fraudulent election in your entire life. Tell Nigerians you are the people's choice, but not in its choice. What a wonderful article. It's brave enough to write that. Thank you very much, Femi Aribi Salah, for this article. And then listeners will bring you more articles as we find a good one like this to share with you. Have a nice time and thanks for listening and thanks for